Uh, fun fact about us, uh, we all used to be piranhas in our past reincarnations. Yeah. yeah. We're going to do a show for you. Uh, it's got paid for VIP tickets, that's why you got that show. So you're welcome for that, sir. You're very welcome. <laughs> Kendon's just flirting with who's ever in front. Right. Uh, <laughs> not wrong. Hey, everybody. Hey, who's seen a Sasquatch show before? <laughs> awesome. We're glad you're here. Uh, we want to hear from someone who hasn't seen a Sasquatch show, please, for our suggestion. Uh, may we please get um, uh, what's something that you've always wondered about, like a really weird like questions in the back of your mind, like, oh, does the toilet go counterclockwise in South America? What's a question you have for us? Why is hair curly? Say it again. Why is hair curly? Why is hair curly? Uh, I think that's a good one. Girl, I want to know too. Let's do it. Yeah, okay, let's do it. <laughs> Me too. Let's do this. When the lights come up, why is hair curly? <laughs> That's the way God made us, child. I, I, <laughs> my hair's never looked like that. I understand. You have to understand that when you turn 16, your hair turns curly. <laughs> That's the way God made us, child. I just, I just don't, I don't understand why I, I have to have so much of it, Grandma. <laughs> it's it just. There's a lot coming in at an alarming rate. <laughs> That's called puberty, grandson. <laughs> Hair is growing out of his chest like vines. <laughs> <laughs> just, this is a lot of puberty, Grandpa. <laughs> so much. Yeah, it is. Some Lord. people don't have a whole lot of puberty. Some people have the right amount. <laughs> Some people have excessive puberty. You should be glad there are bare chested children in Africa. <laughs> Grandpa, why am I not growing any hair? Because we're not like the children in America. <laughs> I'm bald from head to toe. There's no hair anywhere. You should be happy with the bare chest that you have. Some people have too much hair. Some people have the perfect amount of hair. We don't have very good hair. There are fully chested men in, in America that would love to not have to shave their chest a day in their life. Oh, I'm glad to be fully chested. <laughs> but, good sir, I, I ask you, why this much hair? And why do I have to shave it? What? It's natural to shave. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it itches if you let it grow out. You're going to have to shave it eventually. That's true, and when it, when it gets sweaty, it's really gross. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I don't understand why I have to keep taking this Rogaine. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more natural than Rogaine. <laughs> See, my feeling is, is like, I should be proud of my bare no hairnessness. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. and, 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 but you just keep insisting you want me hairy. I do. <laughs> the rest of you kids in school have all that hair. Uh, they're like part of a bear club or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't want to spread it too much, but uh, you want to invite Jeff to the bear club? Yeah. <laughs> Nikki looks, uh, it looks 
pretty buried to me. Man, he's been looking hairy as hell lately. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's been getting some Rogaine. <laughs> and, uh, you think he's juicing? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, I thought leather and chaps were what I was supposed to wear to the bear club. That's 100% accurate. I also think you're completely hairy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to wear as little clothes as possible so you could see all the hair I have. <laughs> and I have to say, your hair is growing at an exponential rate. That's right. I'm impressed. I know, you should be. You should be as jealous as the African children who came from the hair. <laughs> you doing the same thing with your hair today? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, you know it, Sherry. I want, I want, I want the double bouffant. <laughs> one bouffant here, one bouffant here. <laughs> Two bouffants don't care. <laughs> Why would they care if they're not aware? <laughs> <laughs> because all the people, they stop and stay. <laughs> that you're in the chair. <laughs> Honestly, girl, with me, I think you're ensnared. Oh. Do not even go there. <laughs> I do not mean to cause rifts or tears. <laughs> I only meant to my heart to share. Oh, man. <laughs> Romance, you got to spare. <laughs> You and me, you and me, Sherry, we're quite the pair. <laughs> we are indeed, don't you dare. <laughs> mm, mm. Don't you sometimes get a little bit of a scare when you're walking in the woods and suddenly you see a bear? <laughs> out of nowhere, suddenly right there is a pair. Oh, a pair. You throw it at the bear and suddenly everything is fair. Do you get what I share? <laughs> oh yeah, that's your uh, standard bear trap. <laughs> yep. It's, uh, it's uh, pretty powerful. Yeah. So you're gonna want to watch out. I mean, this this will snap a leg, so don't walk through it or anything. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be pretty brutal once you catch this thing. <laughs> well, what if it, what if I'm not trying to catch a bear? <laughs> well, what do you, what do you want to do with the bear? Well, no, it ain't no bear I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you trying to catch something, like, smaller, bigger? Ah, maybe a little bit smaller. <laughs> a big, uh, theoretical sort of way. <laughs> uh, you're trying to catch something, some kind of animal that's afraid to make a commitment. <laughs> she's, she's talking about me. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Man, man hunting. Oh, hey, hey, we don't want to get specific here. We're just talking about metaphors, you know. I don't get it. What if there's a bear that has to put a ring on, on your daughter's finger for three years? <laughs> it's, it's okay. This happens a lot in my line of work. You wouldn't imagine the amount of people that want to hunt other people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something about the size of a human ankle, mm -hmm. uh, and it'll it'll snap. It it might break. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Probably oh, not. Oh no! If it not. breaks, that's fine. Just whatever keeps them around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wrap the sharp parts in some paper towel, mm -hmm. just uh, to kind of dull it a little okay. bit. Okay. Okay. Should be fine. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, Roger, go and put your foot in there. See if it fits. <laughs> Alright, I'm not scared of anything. I won two state wrestling championships. <laughs> what the hell did? It got me! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're right there, look, you, 
it doesn't look like he's in a lot of pain, but I mean, it's going to be an annoyance. No, it's like a human version of those boots they put on your car when you get a ticket. <laughs> It just can't, you can't drive it nowhere. Right? Yeah. 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 Or uh, I got the, you got the classic uh, uh, trip cord and then a, a net. I got a real big net. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> See, yeah, that net's on him now. All right, yeah. Yeah, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wonder now if old Roger's going to put a ring on my daughter's finger for once. Uh, well. I mean, this has been a fun demonstration, <laughs> but I feel like, you know, it would be better if she were here. Oh. Oh, she'll be here. <laughs> she'll be here. Because I'm going to be honest with you, you seem more invested in her getting married than she does. Well, she'd have lived in my house for 43 years. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting married. No, I understand. I'm 43. I'm content being a grad student so forever. I'm not. <laughs> Just go 
don't appreciate hair. They don't appreciate having hair that extends far past your chest and into the forest. <laughs> you become one, like Bran on the Game of Thrones. <laughs> like a tree that sees all, a seeing eye. Here I am, stuck to this forest with my hair. Oh, look, a visitor. <laughs> this is a Shakespeare scene. Or <laughs> out thou, dude. <laughs> I am good, for I am but alone, stuck in this wood. Mm -hmm. And I see thee approach, O oh, me, fair, fair tree with lots and lots of hair. <laughs> and I see that you do dare come and to visit me. So please pray, tell of all that you may say quickly. Valus loves the hair too. Val was a fan of hair. Val thinks that it should have won a Tony Award. <laughs> Val come from Manchester, England, England. Quick question. Are you using thou as uh, as a like talking about me or you? <laughs> like myself, they could go both ways. <laughs> Bisexual, I say. <laughs> I see thee standing in front of me, oh, so openly, and I do pray. Good sir, you have shown me a better way. Yes, thou art bisexual, but thou does not mean that he wants to sleep with thou, because this thou is not as cheap as that thou. <laughs> See, thou is tired of people thinking just because thou is bisexual that thou wants to sleep with everything that just sleeps within the forest that decides to have a little hair on thou. Thou needs to come with something more than what thou is offering. Thou could also buy dinner for once. <laughs> <laughs> One, I have been further educated in the LGBTQ spectrum. <laughs> Two, I lost track of who you were referring to with the <laughs> If you can't love me in my vows, how can you love me in my knees? <laughs> relationship with a giant talking tree. <laughs> you always bring that up. I'm a giant talking tree and I can't have a normal relationship. Fruits love you. <laughs> Fruits love you long time. <laughs> wow. You're, I am so attracted to you because you're mixing quotes. <laughs> Now that is a good one. Yeah. That's a very, very good one there. Do you think you think you're ready to have a baby? Uh yeah, yeah, I'm ready. So <laughs> what we gotta do, we just gotta swipe right. <laughs> Other ones that you swipe right when you're ready. I mean, hair, hairless, uh, very hairy, um, kids with just like a medium amount yeah. of hair, oh, oh. fuzzies. Oh, no fuzzy hair. I like some fuzzy hair. And then what? You just swipe right, and then like if they swipe, if the baby swipes right too. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's the thing. Baby's gotta like you too. They gotta like. No, they ain't good parents. <laughs> Man, getting babies is so hard these days. It's like there's so many options. Oh, this one's nice. But could they really take care of me? I mean, they're from Africa. <laughs> <laughs>
I feel like some babies are racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's an easy mistake. Some are just very specific as to what continent they'd like to live on. Okay. You know, I like this family, but I guess I should swipe on a right one too. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Some of them just like to fuck around. <laughs> That's true. Uh, some of them are very misleading about their intentions. Mm. They say they want a family, but uh, you never know if that's what they really want. Right? <laughs> Except. Oh, it looks, look, you got uh, Oh my gosh, a match. This baby likes you as a potential parent. Yeah. And I like this baby. So, uh, so what do we do? We send a message. Yes, right? Uh, yes, yes, here we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what would you like to say to the baby? Uh, uh, yo, baby, I want to be your daddy. <laughs> 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 